Man lives in a sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But there is, unseen by most, an underworld. A place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. A dark side. Here are five episodes that are sure to make you scream. Back in the day, if your father caught you smoking cigarettes, you'd find yourself locked in a closet until you smoked the whole pack. And when you finally emerge from that closet, your lungs expelling smoke, likely blackened by the damn experience, you'd be coughing your brains out, swearing you've learned your lesson. What happens to Bigelow in this episode is somehow worse. Far worse. Cautionary tales always made the best kind of tales from the dark side. There's not much that can be said without spoilers about the family reunion episode of Tales from the Dark Side. So I'm gonna have to tread lightly. Illness has a way of challenging the family dynamic. This episode takes that to an absolute extreme. It's horrific. From its story to its effects to its directing this episode is really special and comes highly recommended. Maybe just be prepared to call your mom to say I love you after watching it. It seems to me old shows like this have a certain intangible charm. And yet, in the case of the episode titled Halloween Candy, the charm is absolutely tangible. It's a super simple story of a shitty old man who gets his comeuppance on Halloween. Somehow elevated by its creature effects and acting, capped off by the superb directing of Tom Savini, Halloween candy is a real treat. So don't be surprised if this one becomes a part of your Halloween season tradition. And don't thank me either. Just promise to always give out Halloween candy and we'll be even Stevens. With the holiday season right around the corner, my honorable mention seems appropriate. It's called Seasons of Belief, and all I want to say about it is, kids say the damnedest things, don't they? Devil's Advocate is a captivating bottle episode of Tales from the Dark Side. Talk radio host Luther Mandrake wastes no time getting his jollies by disparaging callers who wish to improve their unfortunate life circumstances. As the night progresses, however, Mandrake ends up in a predicament of his own. One that is supremely deserved. The late Jerry Stiller's acting, and the makeup effects are as phenomenal as the teleplay by George Romero. Definitely one to watch. A journalist attends a sideshow promising a parade of creatures uncovers a shocking secret. A round of applause for the late, great George A. Romero, who wrote this episode. I don't know how this one made it to national broadcast television in the 1980s. It has it all. Gross monsters committing despicable acts. A powerful commentary on the world around us. One true to this day. The dark side is always there. Waiting for us to enter. Waiting to enter us. Until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. Mm -hmm.